you had some comments on acquisition speed in real estate. Um, would you mind breaking that down for us? Yeah. So, um, you know, a lot of, a lot of DSOs are growing mostly through acquisition. I, I would say the majority of them are growing mostly through acquisition. And so there's a couple things here. Um, number one, we talk about speed. So every now and then you get to a situation where the uh, doctor owns the real estate and he wants to sell that as part of the transaction just to take some chips on the table. And that can really bottleneck the, uh, the transition, right? That, that acquisition. And so, um, in those situations, like that's yeah. as like, that's our focus and that's our niche. And so we like buying those types of real estate. Um, and so that's something, you know, if you can find a partner that's available to buy the real estate from the doctors as they're looking to sell, uh, groups, like if you don't want to use us, there's, there are groups that do that. Right. And so there's groups that will buy that real estate and you can partner with them. And that way you can really speed up your, the speed of your acquisitions and making sure that you're, if you're getting bottlenecked, at least it's not from the real estate standpoint. And the other thing about growing through M&A is that a lot of times um, w when you're acquiring a new location, you assume that they have the real estate figured out. And it's true to an extent because that's why they popped up on your radar to begin with, right? They're obviously doing some things right. But a lot of times, you know, even though they might hit their, your metrics that you're looking for and they might be doing well, you're still leaving money on the table if, if they're really not in a sub or if they're in a subpar location. And so they could be, you know, producing more than a million dollars. They could be doing several million dollars and, and you know, multiple six figures in EBITDA or, or whatever it is. But like, they could still be getting thirty percent, forty percent, fifty percent more if you were to take them maybe across the street or down the road or whatever to where you're switching from like a non-visible location to like a very visible, very client, patient-centered, easily accessible location. So how how much bottlenecking are you seeing? Um from this like is it is it is it slowing down deals by months is it is it hitting you know 80 percent of the deals or like what what's the amount of bottlenecking that you're seeing from yeah so um i don't have an exact number i'm going to kind of guess that about 30 i would say somewhere between like 30 and 40 percent of the deals i think involve the doctor owning the real estate so it's not the majority um and then of those um some of them you know it could it could slow it down maybe three or four months, some of them it slows down indefinitely, right? And so um, it's just, it's very situational. It depends on what the the doctor that's partnering, that's, that's affiliating with DSO is looking to get out of it.